New alert coming from Quest Nutrition's The New Peanut Butter Cup. We're gonna see if it stacks up against the granddaddy of all peanut butter cups and do the macros and numbers make sense for us to choose this over that. Coming up. What's going on as you do? That guy held back with another episode and a taste testing episode on top of that. I literally just finished working out, so I am a little bit ready to get my post-workout meal in. And I said, what better time than to do an episode reviewing the new Quest peanut butter cup and comparing it to the granddaddy of all peanut butter cups, the Reese cup, all right? And I'm gonna eat them, all right? I got one more week before I start going into prep before the 2021 competitive season, and I'm gonna enjoy probably all four of these peanut butter cups. But first, if it's your first time to the channel, Welcome. I definitely hope you keep coming back. I definitely want you to subscribe, click like, and get involved in the comments. Share your opinions, maybe other things that you know or maybe I don't know. That's how we all get along and make progress as a community, all right? And I want to send a big shout out to you all for helping this channel get over 2,000 subscribers. And you should have been involved in the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. If you weren't, don't worry. There's going to be another one when we hit 3,000. And hopefully that winner will be you. But let's get into this review, all right? So Quest decides to come out with a new peanut butter cup. And this definitely is something that I know a lot of us uh, competitors especially will like because we tend to eat Reese peanut butter cups backstage before or definitely after competition. The peanut butter, the sugar, the carbs to get that spike up. Now, here's a peanut butter cup that maybe we can have during the prep portion of our competitive season, all right? And that's pretty interesting because every now and then you will get a refeed or a snack, but you don't want something that's gonna put you completely over. So now we wanna see, is this Quest peanut butter cup really worth it? Or do we just say, you know what? I'm gonna get the original and just stick with what it comes with because we're not getting that much out of this or we're not getting as little out of this as we're getting out of this, should I say. So right off the back on the Quest package, you can see it says less than one sugar and Quest is really good for that, not only in this new product, but as far as in their old products, their occurring or their current products uh, in their protein bars. If you haven't watched that video, I did several protein uh, bar reviews and Quest definitely was my favorite because of the one gram or less sugar. I very seldomly saw that they had two or three grams of sugar in any product that they had as far as in the protein bar section. But now let's compare these stats compared to the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup because we really want to just get into this. You want to know how's it taste? Is it worth it? All of the good stuff, so let's get to that as soon as possible, all right? So right here off the back, looking at both of these, I see that I have 210 calories in the Reese cup, and this is 190 calories in the Quest peanut butter cup. Now, both of these are 42 grams, okay? So 42 grams, and you're getting at least, what is that, 20 less, 20 less calories in the peanut butter cup versus the Reese cup. So right there, I'm like... I'm not really sold just yet on that. I think given my activity level, I can take the extra calories. Now that's given that I'm not in some type of strict prep or I'm not into cut just yet, okay? So that could be the difference and you have to keep that in mind. What do your caloric, your daily caloric values allow you to have? So that 20 calories might be all that you can, uh, that you can sacrifice. So Although I'm saying at this point in time, not a big deal for me, it could become a big deal later on. Now let's look at total fats. Total fats in the Reese cup is 12 grams, while total fats in the peanut butter cup by Quest is 15 grams. So we have three more grams of fat in the, in the peanut butter cup versus the Reese cup. Then we go down here to sodium. Not that I really care too much for that because uh, I'm not really over on sodium. But in sodium, we have 150 milligrams here and 125 milligrams here. So 25 milligrams more of sodium in the Reese peanut butter cup. And I just realized I was holding this upside down. All right, so given that, well, I was holding it upside down because I'm reading the nutritional facts. So given that, we're going to go to the carbs, which is the next uh, important thing here. How many, what's the total amount of carbs that we're intaking in this serving size? So in the peanut butter cup, we're sitting at 13 grams of carbs. And in the Reese cup, we're sitting at 24 grams of carbs. So 11 more grams of carbs in the Reese cup versus the peanut butter cup. Once again, that 11 grams, depending on where you are, prep or cut, could make a difference if you're not, 
I really, I'm not totally sold on that just yet, okay? So then we're gonna come to total sugars. We already know I covered that one gram or less of sugar here in the peanut butter cup. And total sugars in here is 22 grams, okay? So that right there is a considerable amount over the peanut butter cup. All right, we're talking almost 21 more grams of sugar in here, okay? Now the next thing is protein because we are eating peanut butter. So how much protein are we getting here versus here? So in the Reese cup, total protein is five grams, all right? Total program, program, <laughs> total protein here is 11 grams. That is another significant, I mean, that's six grams more protein. So to me, that's, that's a little bit, that's trailing on something that piques my interest a little bit more. But given the entire values here, you know what, I'm gonna be interested to see because one thing I always commended Quest on is not using soy products in their protein bar. So let's see if they used any soy here. And you know what, I do not see any soy here. Uh, so I'm, I'm like, I'm liking that. Okay. Cause I, I mean, maybe some of you are not big on that, but I am, I don't like a lot of soy in my products. And if we come over to the Reese cup, we do have the soy, a soy product or soy element in here. So right now at this point in time, the six more grams of protein and the carbs is something that you could hinge on. I think what it's really going to come down to is because when you're grabbing a peanut butter cup, you're trying to fulfill a craving of a snack or you're trying to have it for a snack and most of the times people that are that are going to you know if we're going to edge toward a snack we want something that's going to be sweet and enjoyable a lot of times my snacks will be like a salmon and some rice or something like that uh, because the snack to me at that point in time is really not so much about it being sweet more so than it is about filling that elongated gap before I get ready to work out and then post meal so that's going to also depend but I'm going to say let's try the Reese let's eat the Reese cup because I've had Reese cups before and then we're going to try the quest second because I like to get the the taste of the granddaddy pro product and then taste this and see is it actually close to what I just ate all right because if we do it in reverse it's kind of like uh so I want to taste this first get my palate pretty much standardized get it to the norm of what I expect to taste when I get the other peanut butter cup so let's go ahead and crank this crank this one open get that peanut butter cup and I'm only going to take a nibble first we're not going to sit here and I'm going to eat all four cups in front of you all right I probably should have got a napkin, but I didn't, and that's a Reese cup. It's definitely a Reese cup. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm not going to drink water in between here because I want to see how close that taste gets to that. Because if you taste something that's not that, you're going to know right off back. So I don't want to have to go back and forth tasting, tasting. When I taste this peanut butter cup, and let's look at size, there. You can see roughly about the same amount of size because we already know 42, I believe it was 42 grams. Uh, yep, 42 grams. So let's taste this one. Well, damn. Well, damn. That's pretty damn close. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I really wasn't. Uh, the chocolate's darker on the Quest peanut butter cup. And uh, when you bite into it, it's not exactly, uh, it's, 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 it's a little firmer. But the taste is pretty damn close. Like, it's close enough for me to say, you know what, let me check the price on this. All right, let's, let's check price. Let's check price because... Right now, that's running neck and neck, and and it's gonna it's gonna be some peanut butter cup. And let's see if I can find the price on this because I bought it from GNC. And then let's compare pricing, all right? Because that would be the next thing would be be up for grabs. Would be how much more are you spending in the Quest peanut butter cup versus the Reese cup? And that will kind of give you some type of idea if it was worth it. And uh, you can almost pretty much get these. I've heard they're advertising Kroger, Walmart, of course, GNC. Okay. So, okay. So we see here, I see here 
You can get the Quest Nutrition four count for $7.99, or you can get a single, which is basically two cups, for about $2.38. Well, you already pretty much know you go to Kroger or Walmart, and you're going to get two cups for about a dollar something. I'm pretty sure of it, but we can check Walmart, although you can't see my screen. I can check Walmart, or I can check Google and just see what the average going price is for Reese cups and Reese cups going here. And even if you put Reese cups in now into Google, the Quest Nutrition peanut butter cup comes up. They are not playing, but yeah, there it goes. Target, 99 cents. Okay, so talking about a dollar and something for this, 99 cents for this. It's really going to come down to how strict are you right now in your current daily intake that's it. I'm sorry. That's it. It's really going to come down to that because if I'm strict and I don't have the room for carbs and I'm telling you if I can fit this snack in without breaking through that barrier, I'm going to spend that extra dollar and some change and get that because the taste is pretty damn close. And when I say pretty close, I mean not it's so damn close. It's not even it's a wash to me. OK, the price is the very big difference. The extra six grams of protein and the, what, 11 more grams of carbs is where you're going to have to make your decision. Other than that, I'm going to eat all four of these for my post meal plus my chicken and my rice. You've got to go out and try these for yourself. Definitely come back. Get in the comment section and let me know what you thought. Make sure you buy you a Reese cup and a peanut butter cup by Quest. Try them both and you let me know which one you really care for. If you don't have a peanut butter allergy, if you have a peanut butter allergy, stay away from. But listen, I'm not going to waste any more time. I got my BCAAs over there. I got four peanut butter, four, 3.75 peanut butter cups here to finish. I am going to eat them. You are going to go try them. You will make sure you subscribe to the channel. And you know what I say about this time? Peace, be safe, and let's build together. Or when it's, no, it's peace, let's build together. And I'm out.